Oh gosh. Hi, welcome. We are going to, in this video, show you how to use Zoom. So for the purposes of this video, Dan is going to help us by being a pretend interpreter. The first thing you'll need to know is how to pin the interpreter to make it your main screen. What you will do is you will hover on the top right of the video of Dan or the interpreter, and there'll be three blue buttons. I'll share my screen so you know how to do this. So you see when I hover over Dan's screen, some blue buttons come up. Three button, three little dots is the one we want. We click on that and we press pin. That now makes the interpreter the biggest part of your screen. The next thing we need to know is how to minimize our screen. So you can either do that by going to view and exit full screen, and then the pinned video will still be the very top one, and you can move that wherever on your screen is most comfortable for you. Generally, up the top near your own camera is a good idea. The other thing you can do is you can flip between screens. So if you have your Arco Rarua training open in another tab, the easiest way to stay on Zoom, but go to that other tab, is to press the ALT button and the tab button, and that will bring up what screens you want to move to, and you can flip to that. The only problem in doing that is you lose the interpreter. You may want to just have that interpreter open, you go to view, and, um, and minimise that screen. And that means that the interpreter is always there as you're working through the bot module, and any time you can reach out to Dan and say, hey, Dan, I need help, or whoever the interpreter is on the day. The next thing I want to show you is the Zoom buttons that you might see. So on my screen, I have more buttons down the bottom that, than you will see on your screen. You will have the mute button, the, the audio button, and that gives you an opportunity to change your camera or change the background, the security button, you don't need to worry about that today. We have managed the security for you. The participant will show you who else is in the room. Then you'll have a chat function. This is where you can ask for help. You also have a share screen button and reaction. So you might want to click on a thumbs up or a love if you like what people are saying. But the most important button here for you today is the share screen button down the bottom. And the reason that's important is that allows us as facilitators to jump on your computer if you need some help driving it. So to do that, we press share screen. You click on the screen that you want to share. You press share. And that means the facilitators can now see what you're seeing. And you can flip between screens this way so that they can see what it is that you're seeing. So what I'll ask Jodie to do is now um, share her screen so we can show you how I can jump on as a facilitator and drive that. Jodie, would you go to the share screen button and share your screen? So we can see that Jodie is in um, it's a bit confused as to what she's got there on the screen. So what I'm going to do is from my own controls is ask whether I can remote control her screen. She will get a request pop up and she only needs to click accept. And now I can drive it. So I can say, okay, Jodie, you're, you're in module one. Module one is down here. And I can, I'm driving that now for her. So if you get stuck on a module and you can't get past something, just let us know and we can jump on and just drive it for you. So, Jodie, you can stop sharing your screen now. So that's about it for today. Other than I wanted to show you um, how to get back to this Zoom room if for some reason you lose it. Firstly, you'll get 
an opportunity to load the Zoom room into your own calendar. So you could always go back to your own calendar and share that. If, however, you are in Rako Rorua in the training session and you don't know how to go back to the screen, go back to your dashboard or home. Either one of those will help. Go back into the course, which is at the bottom here. And then right at the top of the course, under the glossary, you'll find that Zoom room. If you click on that, that will give you the link for us to get in all the time. Obviously, on the time that we're joining together, that Zoom link will be open. So that's it. Good luck. Let us know if you need any help.